You saved me? If you cannot believe in my words, then believe in my actions. What do you say we carve this turkey? It'll be like Thanksgiving all over again. Wait, do Wakandans even have Thanksgiving? I am familiar with the concept. It is Marvel time, ladies and gentlemen. If you're finding me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on your notifications when we drop videos, you get them. Links are in the video description. There is some news about our boy, Black Panther. I should say my boy, because I'm wearing the shirt. Larry belongs to the Killmonger group. But I think if this goes the way it's supposed to go, you might be jumping ship to another Wakandan who comic book background is not Wakandan, but they might make it Wakandan for the sake of Spider-Man 3. Take a look. Spider-Man 3 and about how Black Panther just might be in the movie and play a pretty significant role. Now, Spider-Man and Black Panther aren't usually two people you would group together, but a villain just may unite the two of them, and there also could be the start and the formation of the Young Avenger. So, right now, although the villain has not been confirmed for Spider-Man 3, it's widely believed to be Kraven the Hunter. Spider-Man is going to be wanted as a murderer, and he's going to be on the run. And Kraven has been rumored, and he seems like the most logical choice to hunt him down. But there's been a rumor going around that everybody seems to believe is actually going to happen in the movie, which is that Kraven the Hunter is going to be from Wakanda. Now, there are many different reasons that Spider-Man 3 could tie into Wakanda and Black Panther, which we'll talk about in just a bit, but Kraven the Hunter being from Wakanda is a big one. We know that Peter is going to need some help in Spider-Man 3. He's going to need some type of a mentor. And if the villain, the person who is chasing him and possibly after his life is from Wakanda, it would make perfect sense for Peter to go to T'Challa. Because if somebody like Kraven the Hunter is from Wakanda, Black Panther will definitely know him. And that leads us to three main reasons of how Wakanda should be connected to Spider-Man 3 as pointed out by Reddit user Marvel Drotch. The first one is that if Kraven the Hunter is going to be from Wakanda, he could get his powers from stealing one of the heart-shaped herbs. This would give him pretty similar powers to Black Panther and coincidentally Spider-Man. He would have superhuman strength, agility, speed, he'd be able to jump from great distances, he'd basically be just like Black Panther. And if he's from Wakanda, he could possibly have some Wakandan technology as well. This combined with Kraven the Hunter's tracking abilities would make him a very formidable foe, and again would make him one that Peter would most likely need help defeating, which would bring in Black Panther. The second reason is that if Kraven the Hunter is from Wakanda, and if he does get his powers from the heart-shaped herb, a battle between him and Black Panther would actually make a lot of sense, as they probably have some sort of a history together and would make Black Panther's appearance in Spider-Man 3 very logical. The third reason, which is a very, very interesting thing to think about, is that probably at some point in time, either in the beginning or the middle of the movie, Peter is going to need a new Spidey suit. Now, in Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home, he had the help of Tony Stark, and he had suits that had Stark technology. But it is kind of safe to assume that since he has to run away from home, and run away from New York and Stark Industries, it may be safe to assume that he won't have access to any of Stark's technology. Not to mention, Wakanda could be a very great place to hide for Peter. Oh, there you <laughs> Talk go. Talk about a spider sense. Uh, us geeks are starting to let that stuff flow, Larry. It's starting to, we might have a, a geek eruption. It's starting yeah. to flow. Look, I am so there for that one. I, Larry, I can't tell you how great that would be if the MCU made that the crossover. Since that Iron Man is good. going, look, look, it's literally replacing Iron Man with the Black Panther. Right. He's going to have to teach Spider-Man how to deal with their technology. And then you're going to have a guy that has eaten the heart-shaped herb that's got all of Spider-Man's abilities. Plus, he has that keen sense of hunting. That's why they call him Craven the Hunter. Right. And it would be dope if he had pet lions, too. Oh, my Lord. Have my boy. I'll, I'll tell you, the only way this works for me is, is oh God, that. Here we go. Because we know that T'Challa is not the one behind the Wakandan tech. It is, it's a uh, Shuri. It's Shuri. So okay. it only makes sense to me if they make Shuri the the you know the Black Panther. And then when Peter comes to to Wakanda for that tech, she basically takes the she basically takes the place of of Tony Stark, who was, you know, obviously had all his tech and was Iron Man. She is now basically that same that same role, plays that same role in his life that 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 Tony Stark played in, you know, previously. 
And because as we know, you know, just Black Panther is going to continue to get his butt kicked that we're going to have to have Killmonger come back oh, in and go. rescue Black Panther. And go. possibly yes. because the new Black Panther will be Shuri, he can hook up with her yeah. and they can have, you know, some Black Panther loving going on where the true leader of Wakanda can finally take the throne and liberate all the oppressed people of the world. And maybe he'll take himself to, to Minneapolis and or to Minnesota and go get a crack in there first. Let me let me get this right here because some of what you're saying I can rock with. So we know that Marvel wants to get to the Young Avengers, and in order to do that, you could team up Shuri with Peter Parker. Young and we Avengers. know she's gonna be she's gonna be Black Panther eventually. So just make it happen now. But you want them to get together and have some um, Spider Panther loving is what you're calling. No. I want I want Killmonger to come back in and rescue Shuri because you know you know the Black Black Panther's gonna keep running around getting kicked upside the head and right. and so Killmonger is gonna come in and save them both and then after they do he's gonna hook up with Shuri because she's gonna be grateful they're gonna work out the differences and then oh. he's gonna and then they're gonna hook up and he's gonna take his rightful place on the throne of Wakanda that's the way it should go down Killmonger for life baby. Folks, comment, subscribe. We're going on to the next subject. My man, I don't know what he what's in that cup he's drinking. Light. God almighty. <laughs>